Hello researchers, welcome to my next video. You are here with me Dr. Raju Segrin and you are here to learn about research. Come let's get started. Today we are with an important topic sampling, sampling techniques. Uh, so I am going to talk about sampling technique and the types of sampling in quantitative research in this video. Let me talk about the qualitative research in the next video. And if you are a first timer to my channel, do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel as well as click the bell icon as well as click the all symbol so that when I post my next video, you will get immediate notification. And very important thing, you have to watch from the beginning to the end so that you will understand the concept clearly. Otherwise, it is not possible. Okay, come, let's go. What is research population? So if you want to understand the sampling, you should understand certain terminologies. First of all, what is research population? See, research population talks about the entire group. For example, you want to study about the uh, stress level of the college students. Here, the entire college students fall, no, they, they fall under the category of research population. Then there are so many different, uh, you can stratify them in different group probably engineering college students, arts college students, polytechnic students, then again within that you can say boys, girls, again rural students, herbal students. So these are the way then you will decide that uh, which uh, people you want to study that will become your sample. So from the entire population college students, exact population which you want to study that becomes your sample and that sampling you need to decide based on the total number of uh, uh, population then it should be minimum of some percentage, minimum of 15 to 20 percentage you have to select. I'll be talking about one separate, in the one separate video about how to decide the sampling size later. As of now, you try to understand the difference between population and the research sample because you would not select the entire research population for your study, only you select the selected sample for your study. What are the major two types in the uh, sampling? It's very simple, two types major. One is probability sampling, another one is non-probability sampling. See, the probability sampling allows you to generalize the findings to a broader population. In general, you will you will, you will generalize the your uh, uh, finding for an entire population. Whereas in the non-probability sampling, it allows you to draw a conclusion only to specific subjects. See, in the uh, probability sampling, if you have selected a sample, then you have found something from your study that is applicable to the entire population. Even though you have selected only boys of that particular group, selected number, but the, the outcome of your study can be applicable to the entire group. Whereas in the, the other research, non-probability sampling type, you will not be able to apply in case you say that you have selected only five students, that is only to the specific group not to the entire population. So this is what the main difference between probability and probable, uh, non-probability sampling. And in the probability sampling uh, mainly used in the quantitative research, non-probability sampling mainly used in qualitative research. In this video, I will be talking about only uh, uh, probability sampling. There are four types. That's why I have given only a acronym for you to remember easily. Just to keep in mind 3S and C or S cube C. First thing is stratified, simple random sampling. First type in the quantitative uh, research under the probability sampling, first type is simple random sampling. Here, simple random sampling as the word denotes, here you select the part, uh, what you call participant for your study uh, randomly. Here random means there is a one thing is score in this particular sam sampling type all the population, the research population will have the equal chance to become a sample in the universe study. How? See, there are uh, 500 students in the group. So you cannot uh, simply select uh, only one or two students or uh, 100 students. That should be a simple random sampling. Means you, uh, in case you allot numbers to them, then you will pick uh, what you call uh, some randomly you will you will take the random number see you you take uh, all the 100, 500 students and put it in a basket you select maybe whatever the number comes from that basket all of them will become your sample 
it's called simply and random randomly selecting the sample sample this is what simple random sampling second type is systematic sampling this is uh, more or less similar to the first type simple random sampling here instead of uh, what you call uh, assigning the random number to the student then you select uh, any any student based on the random number gener uh, what you call a generation here instead you will uh, you will fix in that way that all the number uh, you will give them number you will say that all the odd number student will become your sample even number will not become your sample in that way or otherwise you give the random number to the student you will say that uh, 1 3 5 7 and 9 11 in that way that did way people will they'll become the sample this is what systematic because every a second person will become your sample uh, uh, there are thousand students so you will take a list every second person will become your sample or every first person how you will, you will take the number random number see if the one becomes the sample then the third becomes a sample this is one pattern otherwise two become sample then four then six in that way you will say you will use it this is what systematic why it is called systematic because you have clearly systematized the sampling technique whereas the simple random sampling you are generating the random number anybody can become a sample for example first 10 students may not become a sample in our study in that that sampling but you have given assigned the random number to everyone you are selecting based on the random number generation but here you have fixed it some kind of systematic approach whereas one or uh, odd number or even number and in that format obviously they will become a sample to you and third type is a stratified sampling stratified means strata strata means group so here you will divide the, that population into subgroups see entire population is there then that population will be divided into subgroups as i already told you that the college students will be further divided into a kind of based on their age based on their sex based on their locality for example urban students are rural students are a male or female or engineering students art students or uh, polytechnic students in that way you will divide them into subgroup so in that subgroup and you will select them because uh, for example you want to study only about engineering student then you will from the entire population you will select only that uh, uh, stratified you have stratified that only these students will be uh, selected for your sampling that's what very uh, what you call it. this is called the stratified sampling works the last sampling is cluster sampling. The cluster sampling, how do you do that? Uh, uh, here, the whole group will have exactly similar characteristics. See, though you have said uh, in the previous uh, stratified sampling, we divided them based on their age, sex and other thing. But even though all the male students are there in that particular subgroup, there is no guarantee that all of them will have a similar characteristics say that's what one student may belong to a, a first graduate student another other student may be a uh, from a literate family other other by from a rural or semi urban urban these kind of all combination will be there but in the cluster sampling again within that uh, group uh, boys group you will select for example all the urban students they'll have all the similar characteristic there will not be any my what you call uh, what do you call that uh, exactly if you put it to that there won't be any differences among their characteristics for example how do they write their maybe iq level everything they'll be uh, they'll have a similar characteristics the main difference between stratified sampling and the cluster sampling stratified you will uh, divide them into subgroup based on certain uh, strata like age and other thing but you will not again within that group you may not select the entire students again within that age you may out of uh, 100 again you may select 50 but in the cluster sampling you will select the entire group you will not select only uh, again some people within that group you will select the entire group that's why the cluster sampling means you uh, you you take all the uh, 500 students you divide them into different clusters so obviously instead of selecting one one student one sample you select the group this group uh, uh, the whole lot 50 students another group whole lot 50 students so when you group them cluster them uh, based on their similar characteristics only you will cluster them that is the main reason is you want to select the entire group as uh, in mass for that you need to have a cluster sampling so now you understand the four types of sampling 
that is used only in the quantitative research. Quantitative research, you know very well, which deals with numbers, not with the words and other things. So here four, one is first thing, simple random sampling, systematic uh, random sampling, stratified sampling and cluster sampling. And you have understood the entire thing. In the next video, let me talk, uh, talk about uh, types of non-probability sampling that is mainly used in qualitative research. I will catch you in the next video. Bye. And important thing, please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like it, please share, comment and, uh, and give your uh, opinion in the comment box. Thank you.